Hey friends, it's Ifa and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you my bullet journal setup for April. I'm excited to share a great news which you have probably seen before if you're following me on Instagram. Before we get into the setup, I just want to let you guys know that I designed a set of 5 washi tapes in the washi tape shop's recent artist collaboration project. They have sent me my part and I have finally got them in my hand. I am satisfied with the quality and how beautiful they look. named this washi tape onkon which means drawing in bangla i'm very thankful to the washi tape shop that they have reached me out and invited to this collaboration it's a great event for me they have uploaded a launch video which contains behind the scenes of making this set you can find this set on their website and i'll link it in the description below all the washi tapes are high quality so i definitely recommend you to check them out Moving on to my April setup, I have sketched the full setup off screen. This month's theme is similar with two floral washi tape that I have shown you before. Before using watercolors, we should secure them with the masking tapes. I'm using my Windsor and Newton watercolors for this setup. For the leaves, I have colored them with sap green and bart sienna brown, mixing with a little amount of lamp black. I'm painting poppy flowers and birds with purple lake and a little touch of lamp black. For the magnolia flowers, I'm using cadmium red deep hue and alizarin crimson hue. Anyways guys, I hope you're doing well in this situation and I really appreciate that you are taking time to watch my video. For the details and title, I am using Tombow Fudonski Hearty Brush Pen. I like how this pen doesn't leave any harsh edges like fine liners. adding some details with gold acrylic paint because I wanted to give some shiny elements like the washi tapes. And here I'm adding some white and black dots to make it alive. My next spread is my monthly log. I'm making a double page monthly calendar layout after 7 months I guess. Though the boxes are narrow and small, I wanna leave some spaces for my goals and thoughts here. At first, I used these Corella Super Tips for the names of the days, but I don't like them. It looks fine on the screen, but it was looking horrible in real life. 
so I'm using washi tapes to cover them up and writing the days with the white gel pen over it. Bullet journal is all about your choice. It doesn't need to be perfect at all the time. This video is gonna be quite long as I'm using watercolors, washi tapes and all the little details for making it good. Anyways, next is my mood and habit tracker. I'm drawing a pot with some flowers. For the mood tracker layout, I'm drawing 30 petals so that I can color them according to my mood. For the habits, I have managed to add 9 trackers into this space. I wanted to use some light colors for this theme and ordered some brush pens a while ago. I haven't get them yet so I'm using different colors of washi tapes for the trackers. After playing with them, I finally completed my habit tracker. I added some washies to the pot afterwards. Next, I have my content planner and brain dump page. I'm using Crowley Super Tips for coloring the headers. I wanted to make it quite bold. And here I'm doing the same middle art layout again. I don't know why, but yeah, I like it this way. I'm making the colors a little lighter for the spread. As I've used both colors for the headers, it will look misbalanced if I've been using the same shades like other spreads. Moving on to the next spread, I'm making a spread where I can write my meal ideas and plan my other activities. I've made it quite simple and minimal. On the right page, I'm making one word a day spread which I never used before. After finishing up the spread, I watched my spreads again and didn't like my cover that much. I thought I'd add some washes to make it more colorful. So I'm adding this great washi tape to cover the top and bottom of the page. I'm ripping off the washes for a crafty look and making the grids align. Besides my cover page, I'm adding a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson that said, nobody can bring you peace but yourself. I found this quote a long time ago and fell in love with it because I believe no one can bring you peace if you are not making it for yourself. I have left the spot to fill it with my washi. It's quite easy to work with a precision knife if you want to add some shapes with it. I 
I'm sticking the washes very well so that it doesn't make any problems to fold afterwards. As you can see, I'm not good at this and often miss some spaces, but I can color them up with my foot and circuit brush pen. Finally, it's done. You'll probably think, where is my weekly spread? Mm, I'll show you all of my weekly spread in the next video. If you're sticking to the very end of this video, comment with an animal emoji. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!